you just are changed forever. And you will always view this world and our society with a different lens when you see how we treat other human beings. And that's what brings us all together. Now some of you may be a little bit unfamiliar with the work that the Correctional Association does, as were my parents and some of my good friends who thought that I'd suddenly flip to the other side. So let me just assure you that no, that hasn't happened. We're monitoring what happens inside the prisons to make sure that humane conditions are what we find there. And if they're not, we're going to out them. Okay? And we're going to work to change. the Women in Prison Project, and the Policy Project that worked so hard and tirelessly for the Drop the Rock campaign along with many other organizations and is fighting for downsizing. Some people talk about how hard I work. I really don't have any choice. Moments after I took this position, the governor announced his budget and closing 3,700 prison beds. And the media was on. And it hasn't slowed down since. So while we're riding the wave, let me tell you some of the things that I have in store. First, of course, there's the upcoming 40th anniversary of the Attica Rebellion on September 13th. And I'm proud that the Correctional Association has been part of the organizing effort to build um, knowledge in the community about that horrible period in our history and to make sure that it never happens again. <laughs> Along with the board and staff, I share the vision for the Correctional Association to become a national model to be replicated, that our approach to independent, non-governmental funding monitoring of what happens in the prison should happen across the country. Right. So we don't have to have prisoners risk their lives and go on hunger strikes and be in fear of retaliation because they stood up for their rights. If we have organizations like the Correctional Association around the country, hopefully that won't be necessary. I hope to strengthen and increase our collaborative work with other organizations and individuals throughout New York and around the country. Parole reform is very important. So many people are denied release. And why are they denied release? It's something that they can never change, the, the nature of their offense, just like someone cannot change the color of their skin. Let's all work together to eliminate the use of solitary confinement. It is a means of torture, and we need to recognize it for what it is. We need to fight to preserve the right to conjugal visits and erase the stigma that is attached to someone because they have a felony or misdemeanor conviction, whether or not they're incarcerated or not. We are all human beings, and we need to recognize that. We all have a role to play, everyone in this room and everyone outside of this room. And we all have to hold everybody accountable for our responsibility to assisting our neighbors and our community members to come home, back home, as complete and whole human beings. We must make sure that they are not damaged behind the walls. We have to make sure that the kind of welcome that we're enjoying today is the kind of welcome that every single person who steps from behind those bars and ventures back home enjoys. Yes. Thank you very much.
that she sets out to do from here on in will be possible without your support and the support of people like us. And so, before we say goodnight, I just want to tell you that if this is the Church of Justice, here's our collection plate. And there are a few more scattered around the room, one by the bar, and one strategically by the entrance, where we have arranged for some prison guards whom we hope will need another job than the one that they now have pretty soon, to be out there, and nobody's going to be allowed to leave unless you take one of those envelopes and put something back in. In all seriousness, I want to say as strongly as I can that your commitment to this struggle and your commitment to Sophia cannot end with your attendance at this event. She needs your support, she needs your stamina, she needs your persistence today, tomorrow, next month, next year, and the year after. So thank you for coming and thank you for joining the struggle.